So I'm here today with uh, the folks from the Park Hill Orchard and also the event that's going to be coming up, which is called Art, Art in, the Orchard. in the Orchard. Art in the Orchard. And today I have with us the owners of Art in the Orchard. I have Elaine, right? This is going to be a test for me. <laughs> Elaine. Russell. Russell. <laughs> Jean-Pierre. And Taryn. And Taryn. And so, you guys, I just took a, a nice great walk around the orchard uh, today to kind of get an update of what's going to be happening and coming up here in August, correct? And, and you guys are excited about this, I, I assume? Yeah. Absolutely. Very yep. excited. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> and um, how many, so tell me, Russell, if you could tell me a little bit about the orchard, just kind of about how much space you have here, what you're growing right now, and then we'll jump into a little bit about the art. If, Okay, um, the orchard is uh, a bit over 100 acres and we're growing about uh, 12 acres of fruit, uh, small fruit and apples mostly, peaches, pears, cherries, that kind of thing. So this is the go-to place for fruit in East Hampton, Massachusetts and we're uh, part of our founding statement and mission of, of coming here at all is to um, to put some culture in horticulture and so uh, we were really happy to run into uh, uh, the uh, East Hampton Cultural Council and uh, JP and other interested parties and we're really really happy to enter into uh, and have our land be a setting for the, for a lot of uh, really talented people to show their work uh, this season. Great. So uh, a couple of things as we walked around the orchard is uh, that you, you mentioned that right now, obviously, it's uh, July, so it's a little hot and sticky. And uh, the, the show starts in August. The show, if you will, starts in August. There'll be a lot more things that we'll be able to look at as far as flowers and what's in bloom as far as what we can eat and things like that. Uh, the, uh, fruit farm is basically a giant solar collector. We take the energy from the sun and we turn it into wonderful yummy fruit and so you can imagine the longer the fruit sits in the sun the better it's going to taste so as as the sculptures will be here for two and a half months from August 13th up until Halloween and we'll be harvesting different kinds of fruit through that entire period. Great and so um, I heard a little tidbit that uh, if you get through and you see all of the uh, sculptures here there might be a free uh, free apple if you make it through and see every, right. every one of them. <laughs> There's a famous old uh, apple, an old New England apple that's w really well known called Paula Reds. And our Paula Red trees are doing really well this year. And we're confident that we have enough apples to give every man, woman, and child at least one. And uh, we'll have bins of them sitting out just for the taking so you Great. can eat as you walk around and look at the sculptures. Great. So, um, Jean-Pierre, how, how, uh, how long did it take you to... to get a uh, wrestle up some artists for this project uh, we started uh, planning really uh, at the beginning of the year in February um, we sent out a call to artists through various media and uh, the, it took a little while for things to get going but we uh, finally got uh, 21 sculptures by 15 different artists uh, most of them local, but there is one artist com coming from New York State and one from Connecticut. The other one are from the Pania Valley. Uh, okay. A few from East Hampton, a few from Northampton, and um, then it's a little spread Fish around the valley. Show. Excellent. And so, it's the, how long is the trail? How long did we just kind of we just took a little short abbreviated walk? But how long is if someone wants to come in and see all of the pieces? About how long do you think it's going to take them to do that? Uh, the trail is probably altogether about maybe half a mile. Okay. Um, and well, it all depends how long they're going to spend admiring each each picture. But you can probably do the tour within an hour okay. without you no know, rushing. And again, this this is free to the public. Anybody who wants to come up here, once everything's established, this is anybody who wants to come up and take a walk around, they can do so, right? It's free. It's open from dawn to dusk every day, and. Um, our opening though is on uh, two o'clock on August 13th. Okay, all right. So August 13th at two o'clock is the grand unveiling, if you will, of all the pieces. And we could find uh, more information about this on a couple of different places. How about the website? Uh, there's a couple of different places. You guys want to give a shout out to your website? There is. Um, there's a Facebook page for Art in the Orchard, and then our own website, ParkHillOrchard.com/slash/art. You can if you go want to go straight to the yard, if you want to go to the apples first, you can just parkyourorchard.com. Yeah, parkyourorchard.com slash art. There we go. 
And anything else you guys want to tell me about the event? Or, or anything you want to throw out there? Or you want me to get out to the public? Well, I think it's turning to be much better than we expected mm -hmm. a few months ago. And we're very excited that, that so many artists responded and, and uh, trusted uh, us, yep. not knowing anything about us. And I also want personally to thank the East Eppen Cultural Council for doing the same thing, for giving us a chance to, to, to put this together. Great. I'm also really excited about the variety of sculptures that we're going to be having. There's a lot of um, metal sculptures, there's also stained glass and mosaic, and um, there's found art pieces, there's some wood sculptures, and there's an art installation that's being set up specifically um, using some of the uh, using a tree that's here at the orchard. And quite a number of the sculptures were designed specifically for this setting and place. And so there was an original theme called Art in Unusual Places, and people are really, the sculptors have really played with that. Okay. All this right. is a great place to uh, come with your whole family. It'll be set up both for your grandparents and your small children, so bring everybody out. Great. Thank you all. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank Pat. you, Pat.